Swedish word of the week. Uh. <laughs> Hi guys, I hope you have a splendid day out there. And welcome back to the Swedish word of the week. A show where I each Wednesday present the Swedish word, which I might find interesting, quirky, or very Swedish. Probably, I don't know. Today's Swedish word of the week is knäckebrö. And what does knäckebrö mean? Knäckebrö means crisp bread, or a Swedish cracker, basically. And it consists of two words. The first word is knäcka, and that means to crack something in two. For example, you could say, Jag vill knäcka grenen. I want to crack that tree branch. Which is a very weird sentence to say, but... <laughs> the second word is bröd, which essentially means bread, because it's pretty similar to the English word. And how do you pronounce the word then? As you can see, this word contains a lot of weird characters. Two of the letters are the typical Swedish characters, ä and ö. I can understand that the word looks pretty daunting to pronounce in the beginning, but let's see if we break it down how you pronounce it. In Swedish, when you're presented with the K and N, you pronounce the K and N. So you say knäcke. And then you can see that there's a C before the K, and that makes the Ä a short Ä. If there wasn't a C before the K, then it would be pronounced knäckebrö. And that's some, I don't know if that is the word. So therefore it's pronounced knäckebrö. And as you can hear my dialect, we don't always pronounce the D at the end. So as Django would have said, the D is silent. But there are, of course, dialects where they pronounce the D as well. If I were to say the word fast, I would say knäckebrö. So what is knäckebrö? I would say that knäckebrö is a very Swedish thing. It has a history all the way back to the 6th century, when it was baked both in Sweden and in Finland as a way to make use of the crops during the cold and harsh winters up here in the north. Knäckebrö is traditionally baked with rye and is made into flat round breads with a hole in the center and that hole is for hanging up the knäckebrö on a pole for it to dry. Today there is a lot of different variants of knäckebrö. There are rectangular shapes, there are round, there are triangular, you, you, all, all you can name and there are made of wheat, there are made of anything you can think about and there are different flavors. One thing that I found out is that 85% of the households in Sweden have knäckebrö in their home. And the average person in Sweden eats about 4 kilograms of knäckebrö each year. Which kind of gives you an idea of how much we love knäckebrö. Uh, I typically eat it in the morning. You can eat it any time of day, basically. You can eat it in the morning, you can eat it in the afternoon, you can eat it at lunch. But normally you could put up butter, you could put up cheese on it. I usually love to have caviar on my knäckebrö. Caviar is another very Swedish thing, which is basically fish rum in a tube. It's uh, one of those tastes you have to get into to like, but I, I really like that. And knäckebrö in the morning is very good, I think. I don't eat it that much though, but I know a lot of sweets do. That was the Swedish word of this week. Be sure to check back next Wednesday when I present the next Swedish word for you. What that could be, I don't know. Maybe you know. No, you don't know because I... Uh, never mind. <laughs> I hope you had a splendid time here with me because I had a splendid time with you. And until the next time I see you and your pretty face, I hope you have a splendid day. Bye.